I'm going to find the line of symmetry for the cupcake off center just a little bit. I'm going to draw an ellipse, which will be the plate and a circle for the cherry. Get the outline of the cupcake base. This is just one side of an ellipse. For the top of the cupcake, I'm just gonna lightly show where the frosting would go. Um, I may move that cherry up just a little bit. Then I can get the shape of the frosting. It's not exactly the same, that's all right. Get the cherry and the shadow of the cherry. I think my shadow will be running off the page. And get the folds of the paper. Got the edge of the plate and there's a little shadow coming down underneath it. Okay, I'm gonna erase all the lines that I don't need to keep. Next, I'm going to use some colored markers to do the outline of the cupcake and the plate. easier to do the curve going that direction. I'm going to fill in the color with crayon and I've emptied a 64 pack of crayon onto a little appetizer tray so I can see all the colors easily and I can kind of group them by color and um, using a Karn Diash little holder for my crayons which gives me a little better grip um, and it also helps if I were to be using a broken crayon or small crayon. And I'm going to layer colors. So I'm going to build up the color gradually. And I think I'm going to start with a turquoise blue. I like to start with my lighter colors and build up to the darker color.
I'm also working on some cardstock, just like some smooth copy paper that's a little thicker than normal. I like that because it doesn't show the texture of the crayon quite as much. All right, while I've got that, I think I will add a little light blue over here too. of the plate is a little bit more of a greenish blue so I'm going to use um, Robin's egg blue all right I'm gonna use a yellow for the frosting and just going to put it in a few spots so that it looks like um, the paint is on nice and thick or the frosting is on nice and thick and there are some light and dark areas. So I'm kind of coloring in the shape of the little frosting strokes or the brush strokes. There are quite a few colors in that frosting. I'm gonna add some melon, which is one of my favorite colors. Go ahead and let your colors overlap so that it looks like the paint is mixing a little bit. darkest along the edge of the cherry and I'll probably end up overlapping some other colors to make it even darker. start getting the shadow and some of the areas a little darker.
over it with a lighter color last works like a little blending tool. You can do this with white or with just a lighter color. Kind of blend your colors a little bit. Makes it look even more like it was painted. You try doing that with a white right here in the cupcake. If you have an older set of crayons, you might find a dandelion. If you do, hang on to that dandelion because they don't make the dandelion anymore. But it's a really pretty yellow with just a tiny bit of orange in it. And it works great um, for adding a nice warm yellow. Yellow just by itself is kind of a cool yellow 